I'm going to show you how to find profitable brands from a supplier to sell on Amazon. And in doing that, there are three main factors that I'm going to look at for determining if the brand is profitable. For one, I want to make sure that it has a large number of products on Amazon and at the suppliers as well. Two, I want to make sure that the products are not sold by Amazon, or at least most of their products are not sold by Amazon. And number three, I want to make sure that they have some products with generally low competition. However, before I do that, first of all, I'm going to use a, an example supplier, which in this case is Zora.com, but you can use any supplier to do this, of course. And Zoro actually has a brands page, and you can get to their brands page with the link at the bottom of their page. You just click on that brands link, and many uh, websites have a page like this as well. And what I've actually done um, is I've actually scraped all the brands of Zoro into a Google Sheet. So get a copy of this Google Sheet in the description of this video so you can actually have a complete list of all of Zoro's brands. And then I even have a system which uh, you can use in combination with Seller Assistant app. And you're going to be able to see in bulk which brands you're approved to sell. All right, but I actually have a whole separate video explaining that process. So right now what I want to do is just jump into this quick three-step uh, process, three things that we want to look at for profitable brands. Now what I'm going to do is actually pick a brand. I already have a brand that I planned to use, which is Panduit. And this is right here on the featured brands of Zorro. Part of the reason why I chose this brand is because they have a very large number of products on Zorro itself. As you can see, when I open that brand page, 22,932 results for this Panduit brand. So we see that it has a lot of products on Zorro. Now, um, before we really look into a brand further, it only makes sense to make sure that we check the brand out on Amazon. First of all, uh, by typing the brand name into the product catalog on Seller Central, I can actually see that I have approval to sell this brand. All right. Um, that's one thing. I have approval to sell the brand. I can select condition to sell this product. The other thing is it can give me a general idea of the number of products. This is not necessarily the exact number of products for this brand because some of the results are not even going to be uh, Panduit brand, but it can give me an idea, right? And then I can actually open some of these products. And if I have the Seller Assistant app uh, Chrome extension, which I have a link, by the way, um, in the description of this video and you do get a deal through my link so if you're not already using Cell Assistant app go ahead and start using it okay I believe they do have a free trial that you can start off with so basically um, you're gonna use this to kinda make sure that there aren't any major issues with the brand like any uh, uh, IP issues and things like that right so that's something that you can check with Cell Assistant app alright um, now and I also have another Chrome extension, IP Alert, which helps me with that as well, by the way. Right? And that's what this green check mark is. And I have a link for that as well. But basically, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Now that I see that the brand is okay, all right, I can go ahead and move on to actually seeing how many products this brand has on Amazon. Now, the way I'm going to check for these three factors, starting with the first one, the large number of products on Amazon, is I'm actually going to use Keepa. Now, you can actually do this process I'm about to do with a free uh, Keepa account. So if you're not already on Keepa, go ahead, sign up through the description of this video for the Keepa data features. But you'll, if you, even if you're not on the paid plan, you can at least do this initial part of answering these three questions. I'm going to show you how that's done right so once you sign into Keepa and you go to Keepa.com and you sign into your account you see I'm signed into mine you go to data product finder now from data product finder what you want to do okay there are many filters here but we are interested in primarily the brand now you can kind of scroll through this and look for the word brand but it's a lot to scroll through if you use control F which is find on the keyboard you can literally type in the word brand and find the occurrences of the word brand that will kind of help you get here a little faster you'll see is one of brand and here you can actually type in the name of the brand which is Panduit in this case right when I type in Panduit I already see uh, 
a number in parentheses, which is pretty much the number of products, but when I actually click on it, I'll get a more exact number of products. So it's telling me that it has found 53,070 products on Amazon. So again, for this first factor, this is a large number of products on Amazon and a large number of products at the supplier, right? So remember on Panduit, uh, the supplier um, on Zorro.com, Panduit has 22,932. Now on Amazon, we see 53. Now, uh, 53,000. Now, fine. So let's move on to number two, okay? Number two is we want that the products are not sold by Amazon. Notice I said mostly in parentheses. The reason is that usually when you check out a brand, some of the products are going to be sold by Amazon because Amazon sells a lot of different brands on the website. Okay, they sell a lot of products. So you just want to make sure that they're not like all sold by Amazon, that you still have some products to sell. And so um, what I'm going to do now is find another filter in here, which is the OOS filter, right? But actually before I do that, okay, actually before I do that, there is another filter this first filter at the top I really highly suggest you put sales rank number from and put the number one here right why this this is to make sure that the products actually have a rank on them because yes there are products on Amazon with a rank of zero that have no rank at all and so you want the products to actually have a rank all right that gives you a stronger sense that the product is able to sell um, and I find often when products don't have a rank that the listing is usually not like a proper listing. So I'm going to do sales rank number from one, but you can see that it's going to cut down the number of products tremendously. So now that leaves me with about 6,082 quote unquote proper products. Okay, so I'm working with 6,082 proper products from that brand. That's still a good number. All right, but now again, remember, I want products not sold by Amazon. So I'm going to go to control F O O S. Okay. I'm going to find this particular filter, which is called 90 days out of stock percentage. And in this case, referring to amazon.com. So I want to see that Amazon has been out of stock of, uh, products for the past 90 days. So that would be 100% of the time, right? This would mean Amazon has not sold i want to see how many products now out of these six thousand how many are not sold by amazon so i want amazon to be out of stock keywords out of stock 100 percent of the time for the past 90 days those are the products that i want to know how many products there are um and there's 3425 left so that's still a good number so about half, let's say, I don't remember the exact number we were looking at before, but it was 6,000 plus, and now we're down to about 3,000, right? So we still have 3,425 products. Okay, so that's still a lot. Um, now, that answers that question, okay? Number two, so we do have products that are not sold by Amazon, okay? But number three, uh, how about the competition? Because even though products are not sold by Amazon, it is hard to compete with Amazon, which is why we don't really want products sold by Amazon, because it's hard to compete with Amazon, right? They, Amazon can charge very low prices, but it's also uh, there's also competition from other sellers. So there's another area, offer accounts, okay? And if you couldn't find that, you could you could do Control F and put in offer accounts or something like that. And this will count for us. And here you see new offer count. This means the number of sellers selling the products in new condition. And what we can do is we can say, well, if I'm comfortable with anywhere from one to five sellers, let's say, and you can put whatever you want. If you want at least three sellers on every product or whatever your rule is, go ahead. I'm going to do from one to five. I want to see the number of products where there are between one and five sellers. So I put from one to five and there's 1,487 products left. So understand what this means. Well, actually 1,113. So this means we have 1,113 products of the Panduit brand that have a rank on the product, that have an actual rank number, um, that are not sold by Amazon, and that have, that have between one and five sellers. Okay, so that's good. This is the number of products left that fit my criteria. It's a good number of products. Now, if you have the paid uh, full version of Keepa, you can go ahead and click find products. If you don't, you can still do that. 
but if you have the full paid version you will actually get all 1000 product results um, if you don't they will only give you like five products okay so that is the difference but everything else I did you could do with the free keep account as far as just knowing the number of products you can do that with the free keep account and that's still going to be very useful to you all right in terms of knowing how the brand is going to do and then you can always go and do you know your process some other way manually okay um, to get the product data you can use uh, as I've demonstrated in other videos how you can use a Chrome extension on Amazon search results to pull up products okay I have other videos where I show some of these different processes right now um, those were actually the three things that you um, needed to do for the brand and that was really the point of this video um, once you have done that uh, really the next thing would be either to download this list of products from Keepa or to go on Amazon itself and I was just kind of explaining this and I've explained it in other videos or demonstrated it and you can literally just type in the name of that brand and try to find products of that brand and you can use a free Chrome extension to pull up product data from that brand uh, to scrape the products uh, you won't get as much data as Keepa, but you'll get certain types of data like the titles and the prices and things like that and then I have another system that I don't have open right now uh, which will automatically where you can bring this product data into that system either from here or you can bring it from Keepa and it will find the uh, the links of those products um, potential sources but your other choice is you can actually go back to Zorro itself and use my mattress system uh, scrape Zorro and then you can find matches of these products on Amazon right so I know I just kind of explained it verbally it's not really as good as seeing the process but I have other videos I'll link them below that will show you what I'm talking about so that will make more sense but for now what you want to do is just start off by getting this Zorro.com brands list downloaded okay I have a link for that and get this brands to ASIN's um, sheet downloaded what this does is you are able to take all these Zorro.com brands just paste them right in here and it's actually going to find ASINs, some ASINs of these brands. Just a few ASINs so that you can upload those ASINs into the Seller Assistant App Restrictions Checker. So sign up on Seller Assistant App through my link as well. You get a deal. And I believe they have a free trial. This will determine all the restrictions on the ASINs. When you bring that data here, um, it's going to tell you which brands um, you're allowed to sell. And it really does work. I've been doing this process and it, it actually works. I'm able to go to the brands that are allowed to sell, which are going to be green under allowed to sell. And when I check them on my uh, account, I'm in fact approved to sell those brands, right? Such as this brand, I can copy it, put it here, and you will actually see that I am in fact approved to sell this Ashcroft brand, for instance. So this is a huge time saver. And I have a full video demonstrating how to do this. I just wanted to mention I just wanted to mention it to you so that you know that you don't have to manually go through and check every single uh, Zorro brand if you look at the brands page to see which brands on Zorro you're approved to sell you can actually do it in bulk you can take these Zorro brands bring them in here and you can check the approval in bulk it's amazing all right so I want you to go ahead and do that get these two files Zorro brands list and the brands ASINs uh, approval checker and go ahead and get signed up on sell assistant app if you're not already signed up on it go ahead and get signed up on keepa i have all the links in the description of this video for you to do that and then if you have any comments questions or you have suggestions you can contact me on my contact information or you can leave comments here in the video below if you're going to contact me directly with any type of actual questions it's best to either use facebook contact information or the email that are provided all right and anyway that's basically it in a nutshell this is how you find profitable brands from a supplier to sell on amazon i am mr mark under excel for sellers i want you to um go ahead and check everything out that i mentioned and i look forward to either hearing from you or seeing you around on the channel